Welcome uh, to the Stuart House kitchen. Um, we're going to be doing the, the painting in here because of the weather. And I, now I'm going to turn it over to Cherry Simmons. Uh, Thank you for um, inviting me here. What a privilege it is. Um, it's going to be very interesting to paint within a short amount of time to paint an iris. Uh, what beautiful flowers we do have at the Stewart House. And so I am happy to be able to demonstrate um, how easy it can be to paint. And it's your interpretation. It's my interpretation. Um, I'm going to look at color and um, just paint what I see. I guess that's what I taught when I was teaching at West Central to paint what you see and how you feel. So um, I will begin. I chose this 11 by 14 size. Of course, you could go very much smaller. You could paint with watercolors or acrylic. I'm choosing acrylic paint because you can just paint right on top of the paints very easily. I put out basic colors. <clears throat> a lot of irises do have this purple and instead of choosing a vibrant red I chose this magenta color which will give me a very nice purple with my blue. Red, blue, yellow are your primary colors so they will make all my colors. If I choose to use white and pull in some white I can get your the light purples. And for convenience I chose green which I can lighten with white and yellow and I do have a brown. Brown and blue will make a very dark value. So, um, so those are the colors I've chosen, and we will begin. So paints, water, different sizes of brushes, paper towel. I did bring a sponge because we'll start with the background first. And I'm going to choose just Oh, it's just little colors here that I'm going to sponge on here and make it pretty free and even swoosh them on so I can have a background that has some interest. I could say go lighter in the background just depending on color and again, your choice. You can keep it free, or you can make it very smooth with your brushes, but I think having a little interest, a little impressionistic is, um, is good. The impressionist brought us color, and I guess that is my favorite art style, something fast and quick and interpretive. All right, I'll stop. I'm going to just go ahead and start painting some leaves. Even though this is wet, the colors will blend while I'm painting. Um, leaves can be, well, green is green, so we want to lighten that up with some yellow. And even reds, or this magenta, and green will, will neutralize. Opposite colors on the color wheel, red and green will make a brown or a, a nicer green or a nicer red. So I'm going to go ahead and paint some leaves here. And if I used a smaller brush, it would just take some time. So brushes, brush size matter, matters. And you can get a little darker or greener or lighter and go ahead and put one in here okay so leaves I'm going to make a stock of where my iris will begin so I'll look here and I'll put one I'll make three irises. An odd number is more interesting than even. I'm going to rinse out my brush. And get some of the water out. And I will make this purple. 
a light purple. Now you could let this dry and draw with your pencil your shapes that you see. They're, they're real curvy, very organic. You can see one, two, and then your main petal here. The other ones, of course, are behind. You can see little edges. This one's coming forward, so that's a little more complicated with its frill. And the dark and the light will help to divide that up or to see, to show you the shape. So it's dark and light. Right, let's go here. I'm going to do work on this one. And we'll see how we go. So again, I'm just going to work on, and my background, I'll say, is a little juicy, but maybe that is going to help mix the colors. And I'm going to do the top part in here and just kind of do a little wiggle of my brush. And if I want to go darker, just colors here. And I may have to stop and get more white. A little contrast of dark. I'm going to keep putting this on. Dark. And then I'm going to put a little petal in here. And I see another one right in here. That's real frilly. So that whiteness I need to get some more white. 